Oh man, it's the grab bag. So, Next Level Chef Season 2. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a little bit more than the first season, and I actually had two chefs I was rooting for. Um, how it usually goes is I pick out which chefs I want to support, usually in the first episode, usually because they say something about their past, and then I root for them the entire time. Neither one made it. They made it to the semifinals, which was you know, pretty good, so they made it to the top six, but they could not make it into the top three, so that was kind of sad, um, and I think it was a little bit unfair that Tucker was in there, because she was a former Michelin star, like, like, she worked in a Michelin star kitchen, and it seemed like she had a leg up on the competition the whole way through, and she was on the top floor I think longer than anybody else in the competition. And she won over and over and over and over and over again. And in the end, she was the winner. So spoilers, she won the competition. Um, there were quite a few different chefs that uh, I was, you know, enjoying watching cook. None of them seemed arrogant, which was good, because sometimes you get these cooking shows where people have, like, a real chip on their shoulders, and it just is like, ugh, can you just lose? Um, so I was uh, voting for Chef Nori, who was, like, a seven-foot-tall giant, um, super thin, uh, really ridiculously long arms. It was kind of funny how he was, like, even if he was behind people, he could just reach over him because he was so much taller than everyone. Uh, Mayreen was another one I was voting for, but like I said, neither one of them made it into the finale. Um, there were definitely some strange names, which, you know, I, I don't know. Is Pilar Omega a real name? I'm just pointing that out. That was a little bit like... Okay, we have an anime character name here, and she actually managed to make it into the finale, but Tucker came in and just was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna win. And that was how that went, and when she did, it wasn't really that much of a surprise. Um, I thought that she was like the strongest competitor the entire show, um, and I said Naisha Williams, but it's naisha errington in the last uh review uh this time i actually remembered her name so whoopsies my bad um i do record these things first thing in the morning shortly after i wake up before i start getting ready for the day so i'm gonna blame it on that for not paying that much attention to her name in the show uh yes her last name's errington um so, season two, they changed some of the rules around, changed some of the different things around, and they didn't actually have the teams get split up prior to the show. But, I'm starting season three, and they've changed the rules again, so I don't really get it. But, overall, uh, I'm enjoying this series. I'm going to finish season three, because it looks like it's all done now, uh, and that's only another few more episodes. So that's my next thing I'm watching. Um, and I'm also going to be starting another book series soon to review. Trying to decide which one precisely. Uh, but the I Am Not a Serial Killer series, I've got two hours or so left in book five. And then I have book six. And then I got to move on to something else. Um but if you want to watch this, I would say it's pretty strange watching Gordon Ramsay not be super mad. Maybe he's finally feeling his age a little bit and starting to calm down. Or maybe he's just not... He's be, he was told he doesn't have to be the angry a-hole that he was, you know, like 15 years ago when he was doing Kitchen Nightmares. I mean, he's, I believe, in his mid-50s now, so... It makes sense. Maybe he's even older than that. I don't know. But it's fun watching the show. I like Richard Blaze a lot. 
I've seen him in other shows, um, and the whole way that they're mentoring the people and giving them advice. There are some good tidbits you can get from this show if you want to learn how to cook better. Um, you can watch some of the things that people do, and yeah, that's part of the reason why I watch it, so I can like pick up recipes or ideas. Have a good one.